Hi, welcome. We've uh, started up a virtual box in order to show us this project about Grub Customizer. We can customize our system when it boots. The screen you get and the lines you get, you can select them. That's Grub. Okay, uh, how do we do that? Well, I've just finished installing the Grub Customizer and I thought maybe I should make a tutorial about it as well. So Arch Labs installation and we have here this installation grub customizer so you just run this thing only thing it does is getting this name grub dash customizer is looking it in the aur arch user repository and then he'll go and install it for you okay grub is installed i have um yes i have now the open menu generator so the program is not yet in here I think it's not let's see grub I think it should be here or it should be the system so these are the lists of everything I have but since the, we're in virtual box and an older machine I think I've done this one generate a pipe menu no not this one this one this is a faster one because it's static and this is a program that runs every time I click so I'm gonna run this and I'm gonna hope that the grub is included now. So I'm clicking on my right mouse click and it takes about two seconds before he has made the icon and the menu. Um, grub should be with a G, not here. Here it is, grub customizer is now included in my file. If I wanted a faster menu, I could generate a static menu like so. As you can see, that's what's working as well without any icons. Grub customizer. We need to authenticate ourselves. We are going to change and particular files in the etc grub, so it's protected. We need to be able to write there. So that's why the look of grub customizer is a bit awkward, and that's um, that's normal. So we just pop over to this one appearance settings please choose a background image they say here we have a button and I thought I had one ready but of course now we are root so we have to go to our own folder where I had something ready I think it was ready on my desktop yeah so the wallpaper okay and this is my choice can be anything can be very very large no problem at all it will uh, but it, I think it will be better if you have something abstract and dark. Anyway, pop in a walk if you like, see what you get. We can change the colors if you want to have light red for the normal font and transparent background, for instance, like so, transparent background and light sign, I don't like light sign. I'm going to take this as light red. Uh, maybe this as green and he is now ready so the red one is the one that's selected highlighted the one that's going to boot and the green one is not selected it's not gonna boot and that's my choice you take any color you like well not any color as you can see it's not much I think it's about 16 which sounds about normal and this one as well so these are possibilities that's it we're done we can save it we save it here with this little button and we wait for it here you see the action and then it's time to test so this is our wallpaper but it's also now our grub image let's have a look exit open box with these are the sardi ob logout icons which i changed made we start so this will be our grub in a few seconds time there you go this is the grub we better change the green because everything is green this as well changes to blue maybe that would be nicer since the background is also blue but as you can see it was a success small changes windows d is my um, d menu where i can ask it nope not that wallpaper my friend i press alt p from previous and have my previous 
uh, wallpaper is if of course you're out of the D menu. So D menu is open, whatever I type goes in the D menu. So escape, Alt P for previous, uh, for display, sorry. <laughs> uh, that's interesting to know. Oh no, okay, everything okay. I did shift super P probably. Yeah, super P is another shortcut. So back to old P, previous wallpaper. That's variety kicking in. When I start, it gives me a new wallpaper. I wanted to change the colors, that's it. So Windows D, group, customizer. Blue is great, green is not so great. So we go to green, we've seen it, we don't like it. Maybe cyan is something similar than this one. Let's try safe. Trial and error. Okay. Exit open box, restart it, and hope that what we see, that we like it. Yeah, not so bad. The other blue might be better, but then the tutorial will be too long. But as you can see, it's not that easy, it's not complex. There are other ways, of course, that's working in a command prompt and checking out lines and changing code. But I thought I would like to share this one, which is quite easy and fun. Enjoy. <laughs> 